contest number one. Candidate number one, good evening, Howard. How do you feel tonight? Good evening to Sir Dan. I do feel nervous, but I can handle it. Since you're nervous, do this with me. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. I hope that helps. Please greet the people of Manhuyud who are here supporting you tonight. Say hi to them, girl, with them. I would like to thank those people who is very supportive to me since day one, especially all the Manhuyud noise headed by our municipal mayor, Mayor Felixi, and our tourism officer, Mr. Rafi and I. Thank you. There you go, and I hope you're ready for the question. Good luck. Take your time in answering the question because this is not a time pressure question and answer portion. Okay? And please pick one. Candidate number one, Ms. Manoya, the judge that will ask you the question is Paul Guarnes. Hello. Hey. Good evening, my girls. And good evening to you, Canada number one. Good evening, too. Yeah. So, the question for you will be, as a beauty queen, um, how would you make an impact to preserve our nature? Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As a beauty queen, I will be an impact to everyone. As because I want to tell you that I am a graduate of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in mathematics, and my focus is to educate people. I want to have an aware I want to have an awareness to everyone. In that way, they will be able to think for any contribution that would help to preserve the Mother Earth that we have. Thank you. There you go, thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we proceed with candidates number two representing Catalan. We have Antoinette S. Dolocano. Good evening, Miss Catalan. How do you feel tonight? Done. I'm feeling a lot better compared to this morning. This morning, I actually had a diarrhea while we were having a post door interview, but I feel a lot better now. And it's actually uh, feels great to hear that uh, you're okay now. Anyway, uh, Antoinette, please greet the people of Kanla on who are here supporting you tonight. Say hi to say hi to them, girl. Greet them. Hi everyone. Thank you for being tonight. And I would like to greet as well my family because basically at home, even though they're not here, I'm very sure they're very proud of me, especially of my mom. This is a very proud moment for her. For tonight, she has created a queen. Thank you. There you go, and good luck to your question. Please pick one. Good luck, and the judge that will ask you the question is Nicole Jans Borromeo. My question for you would be, what makes you stand out? What makes you worthy of winning the title? I have a vision. As a candidate, or as a, um, one of the candidates vying for the title Ms. Negros Oriental 2018, I have a vision. I believe what makes Beauty Queen a queen is her vision. And mine is basically to spread awareness using my passion and teaching to all the people in Negrenson. Because at the end of the day, I would like everyone to realize that Negros Oriental is not about basically the number of dolphins we have in Manhuyo City. It's not about how beautiful or profounding your Mount Kanlaan and my city. Negros Oriental is also counted on what I, what you, what each, each and every one of us can do to make this province a better place to live in. And I would do that by using my influence as a teacher. That is my vision. I would like to simply become the change that I want to happen in this province. Thank you. Thank you.
you very much. Now we proceed with the next candidate. We have, ladies and gentlemen, candidates number three, representing Ten High. All right, hello, precious gem. It's actually good to see you uh, at the bigger stage after uh, we had the Mr. Night last July. Anyway, you have two first names, Precious and Jim. What do you want me to call you? Just call me Precious. Same beautiful name. Anyway, good luck to the final question. Please pick one. Listen carefully and take your time in answering the question because this is not a time pressure question and answer round, okay? Now, the judge that will ask you the question is Nicole Jans Borromeo. If you were to give one message to the entire Philippines, what would it be? And why? If I were to give a message to everyone in the whole Philippines, I would say stop killing, as well as peace to all. It's because I believe that nowadays violence is everywhere in our country, and I think that we should stop everything that is violence. Especially since I believe that violence is not the answer to everything, but let justice take hold of what a person has done. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am actually filling the stage now with these beautiful candidates. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we proceed with candidate number four. Candidate number four, good evening. How do you feel tonight? Good evening to you too, sir. Well, I feel very blessed and very honored, happy, for I am able to represent our town, Zambongida, and I am ble very blessed to have all the support from my family, friends, the criminology students, and my titas, my family, who came all the way from Manila just to support me. I love you all. And above all, I would like to thank God for this wonderful opportunity to be here and represent our town, Zambongita. There you go, and I hope we just had a warm up, and I hope that helps. Please pick one, take your time in answering the question. And the question will be coming from Mary Ann Bianca Gidotti. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening to you, ma'am. Hi, I just want to say my congratulations. You look beautiful as to all the candidates. Thank you so much. All right, so my question is, um, we are fortunate enough tonight to have some members of our government here. If you could give a message to anyone, or, uh, anyone who is part of our government, what would it be? I would say to the government officials who are here tonight and all of those government officials who were reach the videos of this pageant tonight that I appreciate so much what you do to our country for the love and support and I know you are doing your very best for the betterment of our country and I will do my best also as an advocate of social media awareness and other things that I can do in order to promote the freedom and peace among all. That would be all. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome candidate number five. 